Hello and welcome to my Minecraft tutorial on how to get a multiplayer server to work without actually using a VPN such as Hamachi. Um, it's going to be a quick little tutorial. Um, hopefully I'll try and cover everything I can. Um, if you've got any questions, like leave a comment below and I'll be glad to try and get back to you. Okay, first things first, um, you're going to need to download the actual Minecraft server client from minecraft.net forward slash download as you can see up here so um, simply download it and um, I suggest running it putting it through a folder I'll just call it um, minecraft server oops already got a folder called that <laughs> Okay, there we go. First thing is just to uh, copy that over into your folder so that we've got a full directory for it and just run it. As you run this, you find a lot of files will suddenly pop up in your directory and we'll be needing these later. But as soon as your server's finished setting up its first area, we can just simply close this just cross it off here okay I'm going to use bucket to support my server, I suggest you do as well, it's really good for servers um, if you just go onto this address up here wiki.bucket.org forward slash setting up a server it'll just bring you to this page simply scroll down and we're going to use the <laughs> new friendly setup because I find that is the easiest and it will lead you to this link here um, simply download from here, wait for the advert to go past and in the top right you can skip the ad and you notice the download just pops in down here Okay, we're going to download this snapshot.jar here, which I achieved through um, launching it from the download in the craft bucket setup we just downloaded. Now, what you need to do is copy that .jar over to the folder that's got our Minecraft server running in. So, there you go. I uh, suggest so removing the. Um, I've already got a download, so it's just amended it with a number. Make sure it hasn't got a number when you download yours. Okay. And we also need this batch file to also go into our server, because this is what's going to actually run it for us. Okay, so now when we double click Bucket Starter, a command prompt should pop up. Yeah, there we go. So now this is technically running our server instead of the um, white user interface we had before by using the Minecraft server. We don't even need that now. But uh, I'll just leave it there for now. Okay, brilliant. So now our server is technically running. That's absolutely fine. If we just type in stop and hit enter and then press any key to continue. Okay, that's closed our server for us. What we're going to need to do now is figure out our IP address so that we can get the server online and get people connecting to us. So if we go into our start menu and just type run and type in cmd, which is your command prompt, type in ipconfig and just hit enter and all this will come up we're going to need two numbers from here, we're going to need our IPv4 address which is this one here, this is what our server is actually going to be running off and we're also going to need our gateway address here um, as we're going to need to connect to our router to open up our ports to actually allow us to connect to minecraft.net which is going to help us get our server online so I should just write them down, I'm just going to write it on a notepad 
because I don't have a very good memory. <laughs> okay. Okay, we can close the command prompt now. Okay, first things first. Um, you have a properties file in our server directory. <clears throat> We're going to open up that with Notepad, and this pops up. Now, what we're looking for here um, is the IP address here. Just after the equal sign, we need to put in our IP v4 into there. So, for me, that was 192.168.171. Now, that's really vital. You need to make sure that's in there, or you're not going to be able to connect your server to the internet. Next thing is uh, you can change some things such as maximum players. Um, this will actually this will physically limit how many people can connect. Um, and I don't have a very good connection so I can only support two or three people so I'm just going to put a small value in there. And then uh, just to say that and that's all we need to do for now. So we can close that. Okay, next thing we're going to do is try and connect to our router or hub, whatever you're using. Um, so if we copy this address here, which is our gateway, paste it into our address bar. There you go. So I'm with BT. I've got home hub. That's the uh, this is the page that's loaded up for me. What we're going to have to do here is try and get into some advanced settings and basically port forward. Um, there we go. Okay, so I've turned on advanced settings and we want to go to port forwarding. Now, I have already um, obviously forwarded my port, so I've already got a setting here. Um, basically I don't think they actually have Minecraft here no they don't there you go so on a BT Home Hub you can go to supported applications and you can add a new game or application so you can just call it what you want and you basically get this screen and you want to have any protocol is selected and your port range needs to be 25565 to 25565 because that's the ports that Minecraft use and once you've applied that you basically have your ports set up to allow your server to connect to Minecraft so the way we're going to test this is using a site called UGetSignal so that's just www.ugetsignal.com and we want to go to the port forwarding tester and open that. Now the important thing is, which a lot of people sometimes forget to do, is you need to actually have your server running at this stage for it to actually test the ports, otherwise it's just going to tell you that they're closed. So we're going to double click our craft bucket starter just to make sure it's running. There we go. This is our external IP address at the moment. And we just need to change our port number to 25565 and click check. So for us, it's now open because I've added the ports onto my hub. I'm running my actual server and everything seems to be working. So this is good. Now the next thing I'm going to try and do um, is introduce uh, dynamic DNS, which is a way to get people to connect to your server through um, like a host name because your IP address changes every day and you can't start, start telling people players every day that you've got a new address and I'd, I've never used Hamachi, I don't really like it the sound of it, so this is what I use so I basically just have a host name that people connect to and I update it every day with my new external IP address um, it's really easy to use um, <clears throat> if you just go to dyn.com 
and go to sign in you can actually create a new free account here you don't need to pay for it it's absolutely free um, but I've already got an account so I'm gonna log in but once you fill in all this data you can create an account and log in and you will get sent to a page that looks like this and what you want to do is add a host and the host is basically what's going to represent your IP address so it's what people are going to type into Minecraft multiplayer so make a cache name um, so just you know insert a name here and you can select what you want it to be at the end and then you want to select your current IP address click this link here to pop it in there and you want to keep your um, time to live which is your TTL to 60 seconds so that's basically every 60 seconds it's gonna refresh and make sure it's still got this IP address here and that's easy as um, <clears throat> I don't know why it says add to cart because it is free um, but I already have one so if I show you mine so I've got like a worldserve.dyndns.org so um, this is what mine looks like pretty easy <coughs> and I haven't updated this since yesterday so my IP address has clearly changed because the number there doesn't match this number here so I just click that and I can click save changes and it's done <coughs> so now we've connected ourselves to a host service and we've opened our ports and our servers online so all we have to do now is just get someone to jump online and test it pretty much um, you won't be able to connect to your own server using this address because you're already local to your server I'm running my server off the same computer as I'll be playing it on so when I open Minecraft I basically have to type in the first address here which is in our server properties file here that's our IP address so that's what we have to type in at our end and anyone else who's local so if you've got friends around your house and you want them to connect to your server they're gonna have to use your IP address not your host service name that's for people external who are going to want to connect to your server to use so just to make sure this works let's do a direct connect so my IP address is if I click join server there you go I've logged into it so this proves that my server is running there you go and in our log here we can see nuclear sheep and that's our IP address has logged in but um, this doesn't really prove obviously that we're online this is just proving that the server is up and running and that I can connect to it so you are going to need someone to actually connect using your host name with dynamic DNS um, so I'm going to get some friends of my my server hopefully to jump on so I'm going to have to quickly find someone okay so I've got my friend from a server to pop on and he's actually successfully got on there as you can see the chatting over here in the console and you can already see here that someone's actually logged in so if we join in with them everyone's on and there you have it, uh, you're online um, so all you have to do is every day because unless you've got like a static IP that stays the same all the time 
uh, every day you run your server you just have to connect to dynamic DNS go to your host service and every morning just make sure your current location IP is the same uh, and just save changes and that means all players only ever have to remember your host name as opposed to your IP so it makes it a lot easier um, I hope I've managed to explain that correctly if uh, anyone's confused just uh, leave a comment below and I'll try and get back to you thanks